What up, hunty? Welcome back to Way of Yao. My name is Yao, and it is a pleasure to see you all. So, for this video, I will be doing a brow tutorial. A tutorial on how to get waterproof eyebrows that will last from dusk till dawn. If there is anything on my face that lasts the entire day, it is my eyebrows because I literally for a long time haven't had the most amount of eyebrows I've since had the microbladed which we'll get into in a minute but for the longest time I've not actually had a lot of eyebrows and so I needed something that was gonna be a statement stay on for the whole day and not move and when you don't have a lot of hair you need something that's gonna really cling to and adhere to the skin when you have hair it makes it a little bit easier because you have um, something for the product to kind of cling to whereas when you have a lot of skin going on in this case You need something for it to cling to now this tutorial will work for people with bushy brows less brows Regardless of the amount of brows you have this will work for you But of course if you don't have much brow hair this is going to work especially well for you And I know it can be difficult as it can rub away as the day goes on it can disappear But this tutorial is here to save your life from a cyst who hasn't had a lot of brows for like how many years of my life before we get into this tutorial if you're not already a part of the family make sure to hit that subscribe button show mama some love hit the notification bell so that you are first to be notified whenever mother uploads a brand new video hit the like button if you actually enjoyed watching this video if it helped you in any way and don't forget to leave in the comment section what you would like to see in my next video what you liked from this video if it was popping tone and if any of the tips actually worked for you because I would love to know Without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So now that I have you all zoomed in, you can see the eyebrow a little bit better. This is what we're working with. My eyebrows, I must admit, look kind of full right now. However, I only really have hair up until this point. Most of this is microblading. Now, I got my microblading, um, I got two sessions of microblading done, I want to say maybe four months ago, and this is how they're looking at the moment. They're still pretty there, still pretty prominent. This side is better than this side. As you can see, this side is a little bit... Uh, the shape isn't as defined and it's a little bit blurry and stuff like that So I think I'm due for a top up and um, see how that goes perfect So let's get right into the brows now to begin with I always like to outline my brows with a basic eyebrow pencil I've gone through so many that isn't really what matters the most important thing is what I use in this center Which we will get into but for this video um, For the pencil I'm going to be using the Sienna X pencil. This is in the shade natural black. It also has a fixing serum under here and this is what the pencil looks like so it's a twisty one like this I used to use the ones that you needed to sharpen however um, these ones work just as well the twisty ones it doesn't really matter this is the sculpting brow pencil and as you can see I haven't really moisturized my skin because I prefer to work on a drier canvas when you moisturize it a little bit too much it can start to slip so I like to go in with a dry base so that the pencil can really adhere to the skin a lot better probably about that much and I'm just gonna go ahead and outline below the brow starting from where the brow meets the nose basically And I take it all the way back. As you can see, in comparison to this brow, it already has more structure. Repeat the same motion above the brow, and I'm just going to follow the natural shape of the brow. What I really like about this product is that it literally just glides on the skin. A pencil that you really need to grate it into the skin for it to you know show up is not going to be the best for this you want something that's literally just going to glide so this is what we are working with so far as you can see nice defined full and this one is just sparse this is the eyebrow gel by NYX this is a waterproof eyebrow gel it's in the shade black I believe it comes in five or six shades this is a really 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 amazing product and when I say it's waterproof it truly is so I just go ahead and place it on the back of my hand like this and then I take 
a angled brush like this and I literally just dip it in there bit by bit. You don't want to go and put the brush straight into the gel and then apply it to the brow because then you can't control how much product you're actually putting onto your brows. You want to be able to control it so I like to use the back of my hand as a palette. Perfect so I'm going to go ahead take a little bit and I usually like to start from the ends of the brow. This is the part of the brow that's going to be most intense or at least you want to be a little bit more intense than the beginning. The beginning of the brow you want to be a little bit more faded. So I literally just take a little bit and start spreading it out and then I work my way up. And you'll feel the product slowly get a little bit more tense and less liquidy and less easy to blend. And so I'm going to take a little bit more, I'm going to start filling it in further up here. And the further up you go, the less product you want to use to give it more of that natural faded look towards the beginning of the brow. Now I'm literally just blending the beginning of the brow. I like to just take a finger and literally just rub it at the beginning of the brow just to try and fade it out a little bit. Perfect, so this is what we are working with. Now taking my Sienna X pencil again, I'm gonna take the other side and take the fixer and I'm just going to rub it through the brows like this. You can use any brow um, gel to hold the hairs in place. This just happens to come with the pencil which is really convenient and the hairs are sitting in place. So now that the brow is looking nice, thick and full, I like to go in with two concealers. A lighter one for below the brow and a darker one for above the brow. The darker one is in the shade Espresso and the lighter one is in the shade Fawn. Both concealers are lighter than my skin tone, however Fawn is quite a bit lighter which is going to really help to brighten whereas Espresso is going to go above my brow which is going to blend a little bit better with my foundation. So for below the brow I'm going to be using this 20 brush by Anastasia, it's a flat brush, very 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 nice brush, very slender. It's important to go in with something quite slender and something that's quite straight, just going to really help to cut below the brow and once again I'm using the back of my hand as a palette to place my concealers on just to make sure I can control the amount of product I'm placing on the face. I usually start right here where it would kind of begin to arch and I kind of stamp it like that. I kind of use this as the marker for where I'm gonna cut out the brow and I literally just start to cut it out like that. And I kind of go in back and forth motions, cutting the brow. Then I literally just start to follow the arch. As you can see, below the brow is really nice, sharp and defined. Now I'm going to take this brush which I got from MOTD Cosmetics. This is how it looks. It's also quite a thin, quite a thin brush but it is rounded. This is going to really help to curve around the brow when you go to cutting around that arch. So I'm going to take a little bit of that product and I'm going to start cutting around the brow like that. Literally just sweeping it around the brow. Perfect, so as you can see there is a major difference between this brow and this brow. They do not even look related. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is blend up the concealer. I like to take two brushes to do that. A more fluffy brush for the outer concealer because it doesn't need as much pressure to blend it out into my skin tone. Whereas this brush is going to be a little bit more dense and firm which is going to really help to blend out this light concealer into my skin and make it look a little bit more seamless. So let's go, go ahead and blend that out and as you can see already it's just looking like my skin. And now I'm going to take my more dense brush just to get in there and really diffuse the light concealer and help it to blend out a bit better. Of course this is just a brow tutorial. Had I been doing a full face you know I'd have the foundation to blend into the concealer to make it look a little bit more natural. Whereas here we've just got concealer on top of skin and we've got to work with it and make it look as natural as we can. So that's what we're gonna do. 
one last time, gonna go in with the Perfect, I'm really happy with that brow guys. So this is how it's looking, boom. And then look at her sister, whoa. And it's so weird how having full thick brows can literally make you look full of life, look. This side looks ready like a slayed bitch, ready to slay the day. This side looks like it still needs sleep. <laughs> You know what I mean? So a brow can really help to shape the face. This is basically the tips that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. However, I'm gonna add an additional step. I did head to a masterclass the other day and it was hosted by Sal. It was a Sienna um, brow event and they actually said that a really good tip to keep the eyebrows set in place would be translucent powder. Now, these steps already on its own, this is gonna stay on for the whole day, but I'm gonna try translucent powder and see how it goes. Of course, when it comes to translucent powder, there are so many out there on the market. However, I'm gonna use a brand new one. This is by OPV Beauty, and I'm gonna be trying their brand new translucent powder. I'm literally gonna pop that in there. So I'm gonna go ahead on a very fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna dust it over the brow like that gonna dust it over like that and because it is a gel and everything is set in place when you do this it's not gonna disturb anything or disrupt it or move it it's still gonna be just as in place as it was five minutes ago perfect so this is how the brow is looking at the very end and as you can see that translucent powder also helped to take away the jet black look from the brow and make it look a little bit more like a natural shade so I do actually really like the tip and I will probably be using it in future so I'm just going to quickly compare it to the other side before we close off this video 